Breaking news from the UK next and from the United States. It's a combination in the documentary just out from Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. They're telling their story in a documentary series that is now streaming on Netflix. The first three episodes have come online today and UK news media are parsing moments like this one. We weren't, so my point is we weren't allowed to tell our story because they didn't want. We've never been asked to tell story. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, That's the consistency. That, that is consistent, yeah. yeah, until now. Harry and Meghan are promising something of a tell-all here, a pulling back of the curtain on what life was like for them within the royal family and why they walked away from it all. As Abby Kugadasan tells us, they speak about their experiences with racism and with the UK's tabloid media culture, but they don't drop any real bombshells. The entire office has been watching it. We've sort of spread out the episodes. You've all tackled one. I've been looking at them. And you know, the thing that really struck out to us was the fact that they talk about the press coverage and how the hounding really started almost instantly once their relationship became public. We have to remember, Megan wasn't even living here in the UK at the time, but she says the British press descended on Toronto where she was. They camped out on her street, that they were paying her neighbors to place cameras facing into her backyard. A Suits producer is also part of the series, and they said that people were trying to buy the call sheets to figure out when she would be on set, that they had to set up a security parameter around the trailer on set to, you know, protect people inside. We heard Prince Harry speak about the paparazzi as well. He's no stranger. He's dealt with that his entire life. He's repeatedly said, not just in this series, but previously, that he would do everything he could to protect his wife and his children, just like someone once protected him. Let's have a listen. And my mum did such a good job in trying to protect us. She took it upon herself to basically confront these people. Excuse me. As a parent, could I ask you to respect my children's space? She felt compelled to talk about it. Now, that last bit, of course, referring to Diana's explosive BBC interview where she talked about her experience within the royal family, Harry and Meghan doing the same now, Heather. Abby, the two of them have certainly been embroiled in all the talk of racism within the royal family. There was that revelation, of course, that an unnamed royal had asked, uh, speculated about the darkness of the color of their baby Archie's skin before he was born. Any more on that in this series? They didn't name that person, that senior member of the family, in the Oprah interview last year, and they don't name that person in this series, at least not in the first three episodes. Heather, Harry did say that his family is part of the problem because of their unconscious bias, that he's done the work, that he's done the learning to be better with that regard. We heard from Megan as well, who said that once she became the public girlfriend of Harry, that she also saw race in a different light. Let's Let's have a listen to that. Very different to be a minority but not be treated as a minority right off the bat. But obviously now people are very aware of my race because they made it such an issue when I went to the UK. But before that, most people didn't treat me like a black woman. So that talk didn't have to happen for me. Now they acknowledge that other women who married into the family had to deal with the press and the paparazzi and the criticism, but that it was very different for Megan because of her race. Um, now, with regard to Harry, he also said that this is something that he's been concerned about throughout their relationship. That's Abby Kugadasan from London. Megan also had a pointed remark in these initial series about Toronto police and what they said when she went to them looking for help with the British tabloid media who were dogging her every mood when she was living in Toronto and filming suits. And this is how she described the police response. So I would say to the police, if any other woman in Toronto right now said to you, I have six grown men who are sleeping in their cars around my house and following me everywhere that I go and I feel scared, wouldn't you say that it was stalking? And they said, yes, but there's really nothing we can do because of who you're dating. <laughs> 